Hello ladies and gentlemen, Captain Shack here, and welcome to Star Wars Galaxies, a brief tutorial teaching you the very basics and how to get started. Now I did a big spotlight on this last Wednesday, got a lot of comments saying, Hey Shaq, you know, how do I do anything? This looks awesome, but I don't know what I'm doing. Oh God, I got eaten by a small frog that's about the size of my ankle. Oh God, oh God, we're all gonna die. So this is how <laughs> that happened. That, oh, and join with me is Mr. Smith. Say hi, Mr. Smith. It's not only happened, it's happened to me. I know they're pain. <laughs> it was actually one of the Armada 3 devs who got eaten by a frog. <laughs> But that's here nor there. All right, so you're looking right now at Fixed Cypher, my, my current character. But we're going to make a new character for this um, this guide. So let's just go to Create Character. You now, you've already got this installed. The guide is over there on their website. Um, or if you're looking to get into this, the link is down below on where you can download the emulator. Now, you have to get a copy of the game. I didn't bring this up in the spotlight, but you have to have a copy of the game. Um, People say go ahead and buy it. Other people have told me that the pirated version works. I do not support piracy. That's all I'm gonna say about it. Uh, but you need to find a copy of the game to get this to work. Now, uh, you've got the Basilisk is the actual server. Nova Test Center is the latest version they're testing. So I would log into Basilisk. Double click that and it's time to make your character. Now there are many different races. You know, Here's your human, your Rodian. They have different skills and different benefits depending on what race you choose. So looking at the uh, Maw and Calamari, they get a bonus to alertness, weapon assembly, and structure assembly. So they make great architects. They make great weapon smiths, gunsmiths pretty much. And alertness, I believe, is their ability to counter certain types of moves that take advantage of uh, some type of stealth. I don't remember exactly. I'd have to look into that. That's more PvP stuff. It's been a long time since I've clearly gotten into this that deeply. Uh, some races, and there's only a couple, have actual abilities. The, what was it? The Trendo Trend Trandosian. Excuse me. There you go. Yeah, I can say words and stuff. The <laughs> Trandosian actually have an ability that lets them regenerate health. They have regeneration. You use the ability and they'll start getting their health back. The Wookiee has the Wookiee Roar. Now I'm playing this 1920 by 1080, which this game was not originally meant to be played at, so you can see the Wookiee's head is getting cut off, and I can't zoom out. But yeah, Wookiee Roar, it's a, um, well, it's it's like a, what's the word for it? It's a fear. it's a fear, yeah, it's a fear move, and it'll fear everything around you. Uh, so pretty cool, but you have to keep in mind now that not every race can use all the clothes. Wookiees can't wear normal clothing, they have to wear Wookiee clothing, Wookiee armor, they can't wear the normal armor. Uh, the Tranosian guys, they can't wear boots or gloves because look at those feet. Nobody makes boots for those feet. Look at those gloves, they're those hands, yeah, sharp stuff. So, <laughs> let's do, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make, um, well, what do you think? Well, giant lizards are awesome. Wookies are Wookies. I mean, you almost can't go wrong with a Wookie. And you could rock a bowcaster. Ah, oh, that's true, bowcaster. But I think can anybody use a bowcaster? Is that only a Wookie thing? I, I don't know, but it should just be a Wookie thing because you know they're Wookies. Okay. They need to have bowcasters. Uh, all right. Why not? We'll do. We'll do. We'll be a Wookie. Cool. We'll be a white Wookie. I love this idea. We're a giant white Wookie. Uh, now. Once you, so let me go back real quick. A giant white Wookiee, I can change my weight. I, I can make a fat Wookiee or a skinny Wookiee. This is actually like a super there's, buff Wookiee. There's gotta be a bad joke in there somewhere. With a gigantic head, look at that head. All right, so you make your character the way you want him to look. Looks and his weight, his fatness, doesn't actually affect any of the gameplay. We'll move fat on. Fat Twi'lek. Now, you can choose your starting profession. This doesn't really matter all that much. Just choose, I would just, Unless you're making a full-on uh, artisan who wants to craft things, that's what the artisan does. Uh, I would make a combat character, a marksman, maybe a brawler. And then you can pick up those other skills after you're in the game. So at least this will give you like a starting weapon. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna take marksman. Uh, you choose, of course, the character you wanna make. This is a sandbox. Um, let's generate a name here. Let's, Mazub, I love it, Mazub. I'm gonna turn off the new player tutorial really? there. Mozub, I think. Go Mozub. Got our stats there, which we'll go into once we get into the actual game. Sorry, but the name is already taken. All right, how about, Pe no, we're not, mm, <laughs> just no. No, that sounds horrible. Gutta cup, all right, gutta cup, that's us. 
Uh, yeah, that doesn't sound bad or anything at yeah, all. It's, it's, it's fine. It's fine. So you get into the game, and there I am, gigantic Wookie dude. Now, you hit Alt to actually be able to use your mouse, and you can grab this little box and just get it out of your way. We'll explain what that does later. So what you end up here is a warp terminal, and this allows you to pick where you're going to go. But before you go using the terminal and picking where you want to run off to, what we're going to do is you can actually... Well, before I get into that, we should probably go into how to change your controls because my controls oh, are going to yeah. be different than yours off the bat. Now, for somebody who knows how to play a first-person shooter, I recommend you go under controls and key mapping. So that's click, hit all to be able to use your mouse. Go down to the wrench icon to open up the menu. Click on controls, click here. And now you can go through the control styles. I personally prefer first-person shooter. And then turn off chase camera. The reason you turn off chase camera is so you can do this. You can turn around, you can look at your character. Now, W, A, S, and D will move your character around and your mouse will turn the camera. So fairly easy. All right. Now, let's just go ahead, we'll just go to the planet. So we're gonna go to, you can choose any starting location you want. Uh, but what I'm going to do is go to Tatooine because Tatooine is probably the most populated or close to it of the planets. And let's go to Moss Eisley. Yeah, Moss Eisley. There it is, Moss Eisley. Because the cantina in Moss Eisley is always full. There's always a bunch of people in there. So I kind of like starting in Moss Eisley. There's also mission terminals and lots of trainers. Everything you need to get started as a new naked Wookiee character. Hmm, this is a family show, right? It's He's got hair everywhere. There's a speeder bike. <laughs> Great, he's an 80s porn star. That didn't answer my question. <laughs> All right, so if you hit I, well, Alt to use your mouse, you can hit I to open your inventory. I did start with the bowcaster. Very cool. You can right click. Yeah, isn't that yeah, it's awesome, isn't it? You can right click and open up a radial menu on everything. Uh, let's go ahead and click equip on the bowcaster and see how it looks. Oh. Oh man, that's that's pretty cool. That's actually Makes really me wish cool. I made a Wookiee now. Yeah, they start you with one. Pretty sweet. And then you start off with a couple other weapons. Now, this game is a sandbox. You make your own character the way you want him to be. Everybody starts with a melon, by the way. The melon isn't worth anything. You can just eat it. You also start in this game now with a land speeder. That's what this little deed is. Now, a land speeder is one of these vehicles you see floating around here. We'll actually go ahead and right click it, click generate vehicle, and there you go. Just like from episode one, well, episode four, you get the red land speeder. You can calm down the thunder making that mistake. I know, right? So <laughs> you can see it's got some warp nacelles on the side, and I'm just gonna start pissing off all the sci-fi fans. Yeah, yeah, I was, I was <laughs> gonna bring it up, but uh, yeah. Write the word enterprise it on the front. And we're set. You're gonna get lynched <laughs> for this episode. You're gonna get lynched. I just want you to be aware. It's it's uh, it been that nice snowing you. All right. So you double click your vehicles. You can just pop on into them, jump on out. Now your vehicle will take damage over time. Now to store the vehicle to get rid of it, say you're just gonna walk around. You're gonna be doing a lot of combat, and you don't want AI or NPCs shooting at it. You can bring up the radio menu by clicking and holding, and go to store, and it'll be put in your data pad. Now all your menus are down here, and when your data pad menu is actually right here, this button, or you hit the P on the keyboard, and the data pad will hold all your waypoints, it'll hold your vehicles that you have, that you've used the, the deed on. So now I just gotta click this, and my vehicle will pop up. This is also where your schematics are located. Like, I can make a bowcaster, because I'm a Wookiee. Though I'm not an artisan, so if I was an artisan and I had the very basic artisan skills, this would be full of all kinds of uh, things that I could make, like drinks and just random crap when you first start out. So let's store this. Let's get to walking around the city a little bit, and we'll talk about how awesome and why this game is awesome. So we're going to walk around. I'm going to open up my skills with the K button. It's also down here. Um, skills, there it is, the little lightning button. Skills in this game, this is how you customize your character. This is, instead of classes like in WoW, you get to choose the skills you want. 
Uh, and it's, let's go to all professions and we can just look at them. I mean, look at the list. It's huge. And you can mix and match these. I mean, you can have a little bit of like all of these if you want. If you want to be a dancing doctor who fences on the side. It's a really well, weird build, but you can do that. Might not be the best <sighs> in PvP, but all right. Might not be the best at anything. Yeah, you're just you're the jack of all trades. Yeah, that's what you want to do. That's what you want to do. You do whatever you want. That's the beauty of this game. So, I have a bowcaster, which is considered a rifle. So I probably just because I love the bowcaster, I'd probably go marksman, which was that starting class that we chose. So as you can see, it's in yellow here, novice marksman. We have novice marksman. Now the more I use the rifle in my hands or a rifle, the more rifle experience I'm going to get. And then once you, when you get rifle experience, it builds up this little bar here. And when it gets full, you can go to either a marksman trainer, which are located in the major cities like here in Moss Eisley, or you can find a player who already has the skill and have them mentor you and teach you the skill so you get trained in it. So you can unlock uh, the abilities that that skill block gives you. And you can do that all the way up. Now, once in this novice marksman skill tree, you max out rifles. Maybe you want to be a full-on rifleman and specialize in just rifles. So, once you max out all the four rifle boxes here, you can go up to rifleman. And you can train in novice rifleman, which is like an advanced class. And then you can choose which one of these trees you want to go down. So, let's see here. As a, a marksman, I can... Do sniping one, two, three, and four, which gives me different abilities like sniper shot. Is this guy trying to run me over? Oh, what up, dude? Most likely. It's another yes. Wookie. What? I'm gonna say hi. Hello. Apparently, that's how you say hellos by trying to run each other over. He pulled up to me and he just like. <laughs> and this, ladies and gentlemen, is what we call a community. Bye. <laughs> I waved to him. All right, so. Oh, nice, nice. As we was. We were talking about rifles. And so the more rifle experience you get, the more of these things you can unlock. Uh, and that's true for pistols. You have to use a pistol to get pistol experience. So the more, kind of like a Skyrim type deal, the more you use the weapon, mm. the better you get at it. It's more like Morrowind. All right, more like Morrowind. The more you use the <laughs> weapon, yeah. All right, well, you, you, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. So... Now that's true for all the abilities. If you're a medic, the more you heal people, the better you're going to... Um... And people are gonna want you to heal them. Yeah. A lot. Now, on the top here is your, I'm sure this is very, if you played an MMO, you know this is your hotbar. You get, you know, that's nothing new. You can go up there to your hotbar here, if you can see my mouse and it's really tiny. You can grab your hotbar and drag it down and you can make it bigger. So you have more buttons. These are, of course are set to one, two, three, four which I just hit all those buttons. You see me sitting down now because, <laughs> all right, get up. Because the first things you're gonna have up there are really basic. They are standing, kneeling, sitting, and prone. So the way this works, let's go find something to shoot. Smith, are you here in um, Moss Eisley? Sadly, I am not. I am in the middle of a mission myself to make, well, bus fare. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. We have really just started on this server, but we do have experience from the back in the day when this was out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run out of town. Oh, all right. Well, I'm going to try to fight this Womp Rat right here, unless he's stuck oh. in the wall. He's yellow to me. Oh, he's in the wall. That's too bad. Good, good time to explain this, though. So this little yellow symbol next to the Womp Rat's health bar is telling me the difficulty of the target. And yellow is, I will see if I can, if I can, can't grab him to look at it. Be cautious. Yeah, well, yellow is cautious. So here we go. Here's a stormtrooper, which is light. This imperial sand trooper is light blue to me, which is actually really surprising. If you go to examine, it'll tell you light blue. An imperial sand trooper looks weak to you. I think it's white blue, and then it goes like white, and then it goes yellow, and then it goes red, where it's going to one shot you, more or less. Yeah, red's no good. Don't uh, don't poke the bear, kids. Yeah, I might be missing a uh, a character or a color there, but I don't think so. So let's go ahead and run outside of town. Maybe we'll get lucky and find something to shoot at. I've got my map open with M. Got a couple guys out here. Looks like they're um, these guys kneeling are actually surveying or mining resources out of the ground right now. 
There's a criminal over there. Uh, he's red though, he'll one shot me. All right, so what I'm gonna do now, now that I've shown character creation, I'm going to first try out the roar <laughs> ability. Oh, didn't work. I've never actually used the roar ability, so let's go to the abilities tab. Here it is, abilities. So to fill up your hotbar with all your abilities, you click this button down here, or yeah, click this little button down here, it'll open up your abilities. As you unlock those skill blocks, you get more and more abilities. Uh, it, let's see here, other... I actually want, yeah, Wookie Roar. I want to see if he actually roars. Because I've never tried this, so let's see. Let's listen. He didn't do it. Aww. He must have to be in combat to do it. He must have to have a target. Oh, well. You guys will have to make a Wookie if you want to hear that, or get a Wookie friend. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to log out now and switch over to fix my character where I know I can get into a fight and show you a little more advanced stuff. So let's just disconnect. Jump into Fix Cypher. My current character. Now let's talk about the, the what they call the ham bars, which are, <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be a great example. So here's Fix. Let's get his pistol out. You can see my bar is full of all kinds of good stuff, all kinds of abilities and whatnot. Now, you'll notice on the top left-hand corner, my health bar is super small, and there's a bunch of black boxes. Now, I did this on purpose. Um, and uh -huh. The shuttle just took off. Oh, yeah, totally on purpose. I've got wounds. Uh -huh. I've got major, major wounds. So let me open up my, uh, my character sheet here. I've got some battle fatigue, and I've got... Oh, more than 80% of my health is actually gone right now because I've been in a lot of combat situations and I've actually lost one or two. So when you get knocked out, or even if you're just straight up in combat a lot, you're going to get these, these wounds where you're going to have to see a doctor. Now the red bar is your health bar. Everybody knows what a health bar is. It's like almost in every game. The green bar is your action bar, which is sort of like a stamina bar, and I'll explain that. And then the blue one is your mind. Now, if any of these bars oh, hit zero, you're gonna pass out. You're gonna get knocked unconscious. Oh, I'm about to give that demonstration. <laughs> oh yeah, you going yep. down? Oh, just did. So where I'm at right now, I'm at a city, it's not very populated, we got a couple of stormtroopers over here. It's time for me to head over to the capital and go find a doctor, a player doctor, to get things set up, so. Let me buy a ticket. Hey, I may meet you there. Oh yeah? I'm going to come out of the starport. Depends on if these uh, things decide to eat me again when I get up. Because uh, you do get three chances to get knocked down. Mm, yeah. And on the third one, they, they clone you. Yeah, you'll get cloned. You'll be sent back to the, what is the last city you were in, I think. Or wherever your clone uh, is stored. Closest city with a cloning facility. Yeah, unless you've got a clone someplace. But we'll go into that later. So... Right now, I just bought a ticket. This is the shuttle port. We're waiting for the shuttle. We can come over here to the C-3PO droid and find out how long. Uh, three minutes until the shuttle is ready to board. So I can explain a few more things about stats. So these black bars can't be healed unless you're in a specific area. Either you need to be for the red and the green bar, you have to see a doctor uh, or some type of medical professional who's actually a player. Uh, and you've got to be in either a med center or a camp to get that repaired, to get that fixed up for you. The blue bar is your mind, so that's your ha you know you have battle fatigue. You've been in a lot of combat situations. You have to relax. So the only way to get that fixed is to go over to a cantina, you know, kick back, put your legs up, and listen to some music that a actual player is playing or watch a dancer, and that'll help you uh, cure the blue bar. Now doctors and entertainers can buff these stats for you. And that's kind of an advanced thing, but it's actually really, really, really useful in this game to get those buffs from those kind of players. Everything in Galaxies is player reliant. Everything's about uh, interacting with other players. Unlike MMOs today, where you can run the entire game almost beginning to end without another player even talking to you. All right. So are you gonna meet me over there at uh, Cornet? We'll go ahead and we'll say yes. <laughs> Hello, Stormtrooper. I'm actually a rebel, uh, but I'm a I'm rebel on life. leave, so they can't attack me and I can't attack them. So they don't know I'm a rebel. I'm just kind of hanging out. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see Move here. Along. Nothing to see Move here. Along. All right. Did I, what am I missing? What am I forgetting? While well, I'm waiting for the shuttle to show up, I still got like a minute, I think. 
Um, oh, uh, one thing I thought about with training. Did you bring up how you can have other players actually give you a hookup? I did. I did. I, yeah, if you if you need something like I... Like, say Smith needs Pistols 3. Now, let me open up my skills and go under Marksman. I have Pistols 3 trained, so I can group with him, and I can offer to train him in Pistols 3. That way he doesn't have to pay an NPC. Uh, what was it, like three grand to get it trained? Um... Something like that, yeah, and it, yeah, it keeps getting higher. I know I need uh, rifles too, and I think it was about two, three grand. Yeah. And that, that price tag just keeps going up. So it's good to interact with players. It's good to talk to people or find a good guild. Now, if you guys are interested in joining the XP Gamers, our gaming community, in an oh, RP oh, PvP oh. guild and some game nights, I highly recommend you come on over to the forum. The link is down in the description below to come on, you know, join us. We're going to have a TeamSpeak server. I'm getting it all set up. Uh, this is going to be a lot of fun. This is, hands down, my favorite MMO. It's it's Star Wars, and you get to do whatever you want. I mean, honestly, what, what more do you want? <laughs> the answer is nothing. Nothing. Oh, uh, what I want? I want Jump to Light <laughs> Speed to come out. Ah, why are you bring that up? Uh, there you go, bringing up things that I don't have. Coming soon. The spaceship. If you guys don't know, Jump to Light Speed was the space-based portion of this game. It was real-time dogfighting, X-Wing versus TIE Fighter. Um, I had, you know, Fix Cypher here was my character on the original servers. I had the, my ship, the Lucky Hero, which was my home. I wasn't too lucky. Oh, it was totally lucky. We almost made it through that Star Destroyer. Almost. <laughs> it was fun. <laughs> Almost being the key word. Right. I just double click the ticket collector to uh, to go ahead and travel. Yeah, I figured this guide series, I was going to make it really structured, uh, like my ex Albion prelude guides, but that's no fun. I just kind of want to talk to you guys and explain things as I play a little bit, so I hope you guys don't mind this uh, much more relaxed. Uh, look at all these players. There are 2,000 and something players currently logged in. Yeah, I'm right outside the spaceport. There's quite a few people. This guy looks badass. I love this helmet. Yep, that's me. That's not you. No. Oh. <laughs> There's an Athorian <laughs> with their crazy armor. Very cool. Like the bug eyes. Alright, so I'm here. Put my gun away. You can put items up here in your taskbar. You can put all kinds of stuff. Pretty much anything you uh, you use. I tell you what, I put my gun away when I'm dead. All the players, all the players in composite armor. <laughs> it's, it's like the go-to armor for PvPers. No, is that you? That's cool. Just run by my cool helmet. Hey, what's up, man? How's it going? How's it going? I'm digging the helmet. I really do like that helmet. I would very much like to get a uh, the bone boots, but a chest armor going on here too. We're such noobs. That's that's the one thing I feel I need for this like lobby look is uh just just you know a random crappy chest piece. Now one thing that I can mention that I haven't talked about is armor and clothing. So clothing is made by players, of course. Like I've said, you can color it, you can kind of customize it, and make it the color you want and the way you want it to look. You can also have it made by high-end tailors to have certain amount of sockets, kind of like Diablo 2 weapons, where you can put um, tapes if it's clothing and um, Oh, what's the one for armor? I think it's just like armor socket things. I don't remember the name of it. It's been a while. Oh. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, but you put them in the sockets. Yeah, just... And they give you bonuses. And like the clothing, they're not bonuses to stats like health. They're bonuses to skill. So like your ability to aim, your accuracy, your rate of fire, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Like actually, this uh, pair of bone boots that I currently have equipped has four sockets available. So let me show them how you've checked that out. So the way you look is you, I'm gonna look at these bone boots that I'm wearing. Maybe mine has some, I'm gonna examine. Um, all right, these don't, but yeah, no, these don't actually have a socket, but if they did, it would say socket number somewhere in here, and it would tell you how many sockets it has. I also have a backpack equipped made by a player, and if you hold down on that, it makes it so you can actually hold more stuff. This is all the crap in my backpack. It's all my, um, my scout crafting stiff, so. Oh, wow, I have so many guns in my backpack, I didn't know I had. Oh, yeah, you're probably training crafting and you didn't put it on practice mode, so you didn't actually make the item. All right, so let's roll out of here. Oh, no, I was I was making them to sell back when uh, the, 
the stores were still down. Oh, yeah, that's right. Before they updated and added that. That was a long time ago. All right, so let's go out here. Lots of stuff going on. I'm going to head to the doctors. I want to show them how that works. So where is where is the medical facility in Coronet? Because I don't normally hang out here. There's the capital. Now, opening up the map is just M. But if you want to open up the overall map for the entire planet, hit V. And here is the overall map. And they have different, you can find different things on here. So if you're looking for a specific trainer or if you're looking for a medical center, look at that. Uh, Coronet Medical Center, create waypoint. I just right clicked it, create waypoint. Now we can open up the local map and see nothing at all. Where the heck is this place? Bum, 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 Coronet bum. Medical Center, uh, probably behind this. So I've got the waypoint here. It's 160 this direction, so we'll just head over this way. I have my burst run ability up in my bar, so I'm just gonna run. Speed on over here. Yeah, there we go. So that, see that glowing light in the sky? That is a waypoint that I'm running towards right now. And you can set them anywhere. You can set them and then in your data pad, they'll show up in your data pad. You can actually email them to people. So if you wanna like set up a rendezvous point, um, all right, so walking into, just so you guys know, if you look at the bottom here, every one of these blue dots is a player. That's how active this server is. Good God, look at this. Is this the yeah, there's usually about, uh, what is it, 2,000 people on. <laughs> is this the start of the line? I even got an entertainer in here, so let's listen to some tunes. Fix that blue bar. Now, I don't think it'll fix it because we're not actually in... Um, I believe it will, just not as well. Hmm. Okay. Well, I should actually probably make a pit stop there myself as I was eaten by a frog earlier. Ironically enough. Let's see if anybody here's got wounds or they're just waiting for buffs. Looks like these people are just waiting for buffs, or maybe not. Sorry, dude. I'm not skipping. I was here first. I just kind of walked out of line. All right, so this is crazy busy. <laughs> they actually got a line. Look, look how <laughs> there's not enough doctors currently on the server. It looks like, which is kind of funny. But I love how everybody lines up. It's like I need medical assistance. Nah, nah, they're fine. They're, 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 I they're need fine. a medic bad. <laughs> So hurt. There we go. Letting them know that I'm all messed up. You gotta interact with the players, and that's why I like this game so, so damn much. Huh. You were online. That's Dancer. Are you in the uh, the med center? Yes. Uh, yes, I am. I don't see you. Schmidt. Watching the Dancer. Now, keep in mind, this is a big planet. I could very well be in a different one than you. Oh, that's true. This is a big city. So this there, there probably is two medical centers on this city. I would not be pretty, shocked at all. Pretty sure I am in a different one than you, actually. Now, do you want to show off um, how missions work after I get healed up here? Oh, man. Does a fat kid gorge himself on Twinkies? Um, hmm. As a fat kid, I'm going to tell you right now, the answer would be yes. Yes, I'm gonna see does. if this doctor can hook me up. <laughs> Cause like I want to get moving, and I think those guys are just doing buffs. Now, there's absolutely nothing wrong with a buff, especially when you don't have one. Now some of these, now buffing duration. Oh good, he's healing me. The Wookie doctor is healing me. Say thanks. Hmm. Let me go ahead. Grab Don't forget to tip your doctor, or he'll pull your arm out of the socket. Yeah, you can actually tip people, give them a little bit of money. I don't have any money, or I would totally do this by just typing, selecting them, clicking on them, typing slash tip, and the amount, it'll take it out of your pocket, not out of your bank account, and um, and give you know, give him some money for helping you out, and for paying for whatever he, uh, he spent on healing you. Ah, uh, you've got some serious wounds. So this might take a minute. Oh, take your time, take your time. I'm actually looking for you. 
Alright, well, well, we will, I, we will no cut back in right after I get healed up. 